Hi everybody, Dan Slater with the Lake Tahoe Television Sports Report. Hey, the high school season's over and it's time for Little League. Let's look at the highlights. We're gonna start our highlights with the Renegade Championship played at Washoe Little League Field between Reno Continental and Reno American. Well, early in this game, Reno Continental looked like they were gonna run away with it. Here, and there it is. Into left field, base hit, and it's an RBI for Torrance and a 1-1 game. That's in the dirt. Here comes a runner home, and he's in there. And it's 3-1 Continental. Ground ball down the line, into left field. That's going to get the run home. There goes Wilson into second base. And he's got a base hit and an RBI, and it's now 4-1 to one, Reno Continental. Oh, he hit that well. That's going out there all the way maybe to the fence. And the run will score. He goes into second base. He's got a double and an RBI, and Reno Continental is rocking and socking right now. It's 5-1 to one here in the bottom of the second. He hits a ground ball into right field, base hit. Here comes one run. Here comes the second run home. Oh, mama. And Reno Continental. At the end of one and a half, it was 7-1 Continental. But then Reno American said, wait just a minute. Inside, and here comes the run home. We could have a play. He's in there safely. And it's now 7-5. That gets away, and here comes another play at the plate. The throw, no, he's in there safely. And they have now made it a one-run ball game. And big cash at the plate. Oh, mama! That's going to go all the way to the fence. Two runs are going to score. And Cash is heading into second base with a double. And Reno American has come all the way back from a 7-1 deficit to take an 8-7 lead. And then they just kept adding to that lead. Well, that's not going to happen. A base hit. Oh, wow. And Alex makes it 14 to nine with a base hit over the drawn end infield. Oh, there's God gonna drop in another base hit. Gets by and here comes another run. And Reno American is just whacking and sacking. American goes on to win it 18 to 10. We moved to the Hooligan Championship also that day at Washoe Little League Field, where again it was Reno Continental and Reno American. This game saw some great defense. Watch these plays. And there's a ground ball up the middle in the center field. That's a base hit. And they're going to send the runner home. We could have a play. And he is out at the plate. Oh, mama. What a terrific throw. And what a terrific play by the catcher as he got the thing on the bounce and two balls forever. There's a towering pop. That could be trouble in the wind. Oh, mama. <laughs> wow. That brought the Reno Continental faithful to their feet. And Continental's going to get on the board first in this one. There's a high poke deep right center field. It's going to be off the fence. Going to score one run, and he'll go into second base with a double into nothing. But then Reno American got their bats booming. He hits a shot to left field, and it's up on the hill and gone. A one run smash. And just like that, it's tied at one. 
Boy, he gave that thing a ride, and boy, you know he hit it hard because there's a strong wind blowing in. Oh, mama, that's high, deep, and see you later. A three-run blast for Nick. And American goes on to win the Hooligan Championship eight to one. We're gonna go now to the nine, 10 year old championship between Reno American and Reno National played at Carson City's Governor's Field. Well, Reno American is gonna get on the board first as Ryan Davis scores. And the pitch. And that goes to the backstop and that's gonna be the first run of the game. On oh, a wild pitch. But in the second inning, Reno National took the lead. Start to fall. And that's hit to the shortstop. And bobbled and the throw to second for the force. As the run scores. And now an overthrow to first base. So that runner's going to get into scoring position. And he's going to get third base. base. And a chopper, third baseman over to first. Not in time, run scores. 2-1, Reno National. Reno National then will make it 3-1. A.J. Bell, a wind up to the plate. Ground ball, two hops to second. Bobbles, throws to first, not in time. Run scores. But then watch this gem by Zach Mills. There's a shot. Oh, oh mama! Wow, what a catch! Wow. Zach Mills! No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on. Three complete, 3-1, three Reno nice. National. And, but now it was Reno American's turn. Ground ball up the middle and into center field. A run will score. And it is three to two. Okay. New pitcher on the mound for the National. And first Whoa. pitch hitting and right into right field. And that didn't take long. You gotta throw the ball in. My goodness, and he's coming to the plate. And he will score. And the runner takes second base. And this was the big hit by Jack Sheltra. Throw it to the plate. And oh, that's it. Mama. Into right field. Base hit. And that's going to roll. And a stand-up double. And Reno American. And now there's an overthrow. And Sheltra is going to go to third. And Reno American Has with two no. runs yeah. in this inning. They have taken the lead. And we'll go to the six with the lead. And it could be Mr. Toad's wild ride. Well, Reno National threatened, and this is how it ended up. The 0-1 pitch. Ground ball to short. Across to first. Oh, Game mama. over. Reno American, the 9-10 champions. What a game. The final, four to three. Fielding for nine and 10 year olds. Wow. Wow. Final again, 4-3, Reno American. Before we get to the 11 year old championship game, we gotta show you some great highlights. Now this turned into a great series between Centennial and Reno National. We're gonna show you some highlights from the first game between the two teams. Well, number 54, Parker Luthie of Centennial was having a monster night. Knocked out with two outs in the inning. Oh, he mama. hits it way back. Oh, my. That is long gone, Dan. Long gone. And over one of your favorite signs, <laughs> Bodine's. Parker Luthie taking a little frustration out. Wow. But he wasn't the only one going deep. No time to tighten up, although I would if I was an 11-year-old pitching in, the, in a situation like this. And that's hit deep. Uh -oh. Left field. Mama. Way back. Way back. It's out of here. 
So a leadoff jack by Ethan Gordon, and it is six to five, Reno National. Maybe it was the full moon that night, but there was some great stuff. Watch these plays by both teams. A one-two pitch. Is hit oh, deep mama. center field, way back, and it is off the center field wall. One run is in, and the on the overthrow. Oh, what a nice play by the pitcher, and oh, what a great play, Maselli, the catcher gets the overthrow, throws it to Noxheim, who throws it to third to nail the runner who was caught in between third and home. And that's one way to get an out, Dan. Yeah, that's kind of a tough way. <laughs> and an RBI double, but the runner who was on second got. Well, they went to the sixth inning with Centennial holding a 9-6 lead. And here came Reno National trying to make a comeback. Wait. Yeah. Right field, and that bounces fair, and that's going to roll to the wall. Extra bases. Runners chugging for third base, and he will be in. Oh, almost gets caught. Whoa. Round in the bag. Bottom of the sixth. Runner at third base. 1-1 one, one pitch. Ground ball, right side, first base. Gloves it, makes the play. Oh, mama. Centennial wins. What a game. The final Centennial nine, Reno National eight. Oh my. Well, the two teams met again in the semifinal and there was more fireworks. Game of on Mason Oliphant is pitcher Dylan Adottle and the pitch is hit to right field. Oh, oh my. Nice. A web gem, Dan, and Alrighty. the first play of the game. Blake Malizia, what a play. Moving to his right, backhanded that 2-2 two -two pitch to Nakshan. Ground ball over the third baseman's head into left field. And the throw to the plate is in time, and they get him. <laughs> and Parker Luthie was knocking him out of the yard again. And that's hit deep, way back, oh, way back, oh, over the Bodine sign in center field, and Parker Luthie has done it again. You know, I'm kind of wondering why he hits so far down in the lineup. Well, until that. And once again, the two teams were in a great battle. We know National is going to take a 5-1 to one lead with the help of a Mikey Cruz homer. And there's a oh, shot! Oh my. Deep! Right field! Way back! It's gone! Mikey Cruz with an opposite field jack. And if he'd have hit that one one pitch ago, it would have been a two-run homer. Eric Nuxheim followed that up. Three and one, Geis on second. And there's a shot into left field. And that handcuffs the left fielder and rolls to the wall. A run will score and it is five to one. Reno National. But here came Parker again. Against Parker Luthi. Three, two pitch. A shot, deep right field and he's done it again. Parker Luthi. <laughs> takes the outside pitch from Mikey Cruz and just hits it easily over the right field fence. And it is five to three, Reno National. Reno National was leading nine to five before this big hit. Only one out, bags full, and that's it deep. Way back, way back in! Oh. Off the bottom of the fence. One run is in, two runs are in. Three runs are in, and it is oh, nine to eight mama. on a three RBI double. But then Reno Nationals defense was spectacular again. And a ground ball, oh, what a play by Mikey Cruz. 
and he tags him out. What a great play, and the throw to second, and he's safe. Oh, wow. He slid in. Oh, okay. oh. and he changed sure, his yeah. call. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Well, they went to the bottom of the six, and this is how it ended. The pitch. Got him looking. Oh, mama. And Reno National hangs on to extend this tournament. The final, Reno National 10, Centennial 8. We will do it again all over tomorrow. And the if game was now necessary. Well, they went to the championship game and the Reno National team was just on fire. They were putting on a clinic. Look at the highlights. Cody to the plate. Ground ball oh, in the God. hole. Between third and short, one run will score. The throw to the plate, and it'll be cut off. And a two RBI single, and Eric Nockshine. The pitch. A, a one hopper wow. over the head of the third baseman. One run is in, and the throw to the plate is going to be offline. Another two RBI single. And it is five to nothing. The nine. Like this. Oh no. And that's it into no. right field. And that's going to roll they clean the towards bases. the fence. One run scores. Two run scores. Uh, two RBI double by Grayson Grinzel. And he is two for two in the first inning with two RBIs. Gee, you, most times you don't. And after a half inning, it was seven to nothing. And to put the icing on the cake, Aiden Oster is going to hit the salami. Aiden Oster steps in. First pitch hits oh, it way deep. My. Way back in. It's out of here. Oh, my. So Josh Jones comes in the game, throws one pitch. A grand salami. And a grand salami for Aiden Oster. And Reno National goes on to win the 10-11 championship, 20 to one. Impressive. Next, we'll look at the 11, 12 year olds. And one of the best games of the tournament was in the opening round as Washoe was taking on South Tahoe. Well, the very first batter, Cameron Lehman, is gonna smash a triple. That's into right field, and it's up against the fence. There goes Cameron to second. He's going to try for three. The throw to third base is offline. And the South Tahoe All-Stars came out ready to go. And then brother Andrew knocked him in to make it one to nothing. There's a line shot right up the middle. Oh, mama, it's one to nothing in favor of South Tahoe as Andrew Singles in his brother. He's got a smile going. And it'll bring up Jaden Aquino. But then there was two big plays. First on defense by Washoe. There's a ground ball up the middle. Base hit. They're going to try to score him to throw it to the plate. He's going to be out at the plate. And that'll end the inning. Oh no, it's only two outs, I'm sorry. Well, Ty Laughlin got the base hit, but South Tahoe gambled and went for the run. Nice catch! Nice tire! Here we go, Marcus! So, what a nice throw home. They tried to score the runner. And then Luke Roussel delivered a big blow. And there's a smash to left field. Gone. Oh, mama. And we had just talked. As he hit one off Caden, and they gives Washoe a 2 1 lead. With a blast to left center field. And Washoe went on to win this one 2 to 1. We'll be back in a moment. Well, in the championship game, it was Reno National and Washoe, and this turned into a really good one. In the third inning, Washoe's Lucas Bain is going to put them ahead 2-0. 
Zach, and he caught it with his bare hand. And there's a long fly ball, deep, way back, and that is gone. So with one crack of the bat on a hanging breaking ball, suddenly Washoe takes a 2-0 lead. They went to the fourth with Washoe leading 4 nothing, but then the Carson Isab show began. Count remains three and two. Good at bat for Isip to the plate. And there's yeah. a shot into left center, and that was up in his eyes, and he got on top of that one, Dan. And that's what I'm talking about. This kid's a dangerous hitter, a double, and Reno National is on the scoreboard, courtesy of an RBI double by Carson Isip. In the bottom of the fifth, Carson was at it again. Out of the stretch, McCoy to the plate. And a oh, line drive oh. into left field. And that's gonna roll all the way to the fence. One run is in, two runs are in. And the throw to the plate is offline. Oh, mama. And a base clearing double by Carson. Clutch, Issop. And it's four to four, Dan. But then Jake Oscarson stepped to the plate for Washoe in the sixth. The windup. And there's a oh, shot mom. into right center field, and that will score two runs and a stand-up double or a sliding double, and it is six to four. He went to the bottom of the six with Washoe leading seven four, and this is how it ended. Three two. Come on and miss strike three. Washoe is going to Vegas. Seven four, the final and the mob scene on the mound. Those were your little league highlights, but we got one more clip we've got to show you folks. We're gonna go to South Tahoe for the Babe Ruth playoffs in the 13 to 15 division state. Well, you've got to watch this play to believe it. Now, Kyle Christensen is at the plate for Fallon, but keep your eye on second baseman, Alex Aguirre. Oh my, oh mama! He's gonna dive and tag the base. He's gonna go back, oh mama, triple play! You gotta be kidding. Wow, tremendous play. Started by second baseman Alex Aguirre, who snagged that liner. The runners thought that they were gonna take, uh, gonna the ball was going to go up the middle and into center field and well it turned into a triple play oh my well south tahoe went on to win the state championship but that play was one of the plays of the game and maybe the year that wraps it up this is dan slater for lsp and lake tahoe television sports They drop into the steep and deep, glide across coves, lace up the blades, and test their limits on trails at all points of the compass. They do as you do and find time for all those things that make life a lot better.